What's the hoopla everyone? It's the award winning commentator. Today we're playing some search and destroy on the map dome. This by far is my favorite game type when it comes to Call of Duty. Now the first COD game I ever started playing was COD 4. It's on COD 4 that I started playing hardcore search and destroy. Because Juggernaut was such a big problem in that game that hardcore seemed to be the solution at that time. It was there that I started joining game battles, started making clans and I started getting offers from these teams that were quote unquote sponsored. You know why GameStop in another country or GameStop in another city, they'll never see my life, but yet you put it in your bio to put fear into the other people that you're playing against. And then from there, they went from hardcore back to normal search and destroy. I started playing with my buddies from grade school and every day we made a different clan. We started doing the game battle stuff and if you had a negative win-loss ratio, yes, you had 2-1 win-loss ratio, you would disband your clan with another 12 hours and make another one, and try another day, become one of the best teams on game battles. To get noticed by the MLG players so you could get sponsored. So I think that's something every gamer experiences at least one time when they're gaming. They want to get sponsored. They want to make a career out of what they're playing. That you try to put hard. You try to go as hard as you can every time. And maybe that's Team Deathmatch for you. Maybe that's now the kill confirmed game type or domination. But for me it was search and destroy. Because I love search and destroy. You work as a team to get an objective done. Normally in domination people just right now they just kill horn. They don't care about the domination flags or anything. You look at these big YouTubers and joke around. They said, you know what, the, what you call these flags that you're supposed to capture them? We just call them traps. We call them places so we can get this Moab and drop it on the other people. But in Search and Destroy, you have one objective. You have a time limit. If you don't get it done, everyone sees it. And you have amazing clutches. That was the thing I loved about Search and Destroy. And in this, this game right now, I'm just going to tell you, I was not playing serious. I've not taken video games serious for a very long time. This was back on COD 4, the time when I was trying to get this MLG sponsorship, get noticed that I went try hard mode, I guess you want to call it. And now in this game, I'm just playing casual, I'm playing with my, my good friend Little Tan Kid, guys, go check out his YouTube channel, Northern Entertainment, fantastic stuff over there. Tell him what's the hoopla, guys. For me, that was Search and Destroy, the game type that I immediately fell in love with because of this adrenaline feeling. The feeling where you're working as a team, where everyone has each other's back to get the objective done. And I cannot tell you how many times I went to a public match where people do not care about the objective. All they care about is this thing called a KD. And back on COD 4, KD was nothing. Everyone rushed around at the beginning of the map to be the first person to put the chopper up in the air, the seven kill streak, to negate the airspace for everyone. And everyone on the other team would immediately go to a rocket launcher and would shoot it down. It's amazing to think how that video game has changed over the years. And now KD is this thing everyone praises and if you don't have a high KD or don't have a a 2KD, a 1KD, that you're a bad player. But we'll talk about that for a later commentary. I'm working on a big project right now about did the nuke slash Moab help or destroy Call of Duty? <laughs> now for some reason, if you guys still do not believe I'm not taking this match serious, let's just take a look at the class I'm using. I'm using the most underrated gun, the MG36, with the heartbeat sensor and grip. Let me just take the time to say thank you guys for the great reception that video's gotten on YouTube. It's about to hit 11k views. If you guys have not seen it, click the annotation above, it'll take you right to the video. For round 3, I remember there's a sniper camping behind the cement block the last two rounds to the right of the dome. So I tried to throw a grenade in the middle of the map, unfortunately I get taken out, and now we're on watching skill ball play, using the shotgun. And a second we'll switch over to Little Tan Kid using the riot shield, there he is. And that's all he's doing, Little Tan Kid was playing an amazing job this round, I think he went 1-3 and three with 3 assists, I'm probably wrong about that. We have Skill Bob. Skill Bob was doing it. You could tell right away. We're just playing this for fun. We haven't played Search and Destroy in a long time together. And we just we just wanted to have fun playing Modern Warfare 3. Because that's something. I think that's one of the reasons why a lot of people don't want to play Modern Warfare 3 anymore. Because they take it way too serious. Again, it's just a video game. It's nothing where if you go, oh, you get this kill right here, you're going to win a million dollars. It's just nothing like that. It's just about having fun with your buds playing the game. Now, I'm closing today's video. If this is one of your first times checking out one of my videos, then welcome. Thank you for stopping by. For the remaining part, I want to like to get serious. I do not just post Call of Duty videos, I post games that I enjoy playing. Yes, there was a time when I played Modern Warfare 3, it was a lot of fun. The honeymoon period because the campers didn't find the right spot yet to camp in. Then after that, the negativity set in. All these different YouTubers started complaining about the exact same thing. Campers and lag. And the campers finally found their spots, and they haven't moved since. And camping is just a huge epidemic that needs to go away in video games. Now please do not tell me that you camp because someone else on the other team camps. That's not going to solve anything. 
Do I blame them? Not really. Sandhorn headsets came out. They're amazing. I can sit in one spot and listen to the enemy come by. To be honest, I think Search and Destroy is where camping evolved. Because in Search and Destroy, you're all watching a certain part of the map. You're watching the objective and making sure the other team doesn't plant at the A site or the B site. But now camping has become a sinister, sinister thing. Where someone just camps now to ruin your day, to ruin your streak. Do I understand the logic behind that? Not really. I don't get why you're going to play a video game. Spend $65 to all the tax and all. Just to sit in one spot. Foot to each his own. And I had to take a break. I had to give Modern Warfare 3. I had to take a week off. Because if you ever get involved with something. If something's the only thing you think about. For a very long time. You get addicted to it. And I encourage you. Step away from it. Get away from it for a week. Get away from it for a month. Just look at it from a different angle. Look at it from a different vantage point. And figure out, is this a healthy thing? Is this something that's good that you can get back to and play in moderation? Or is this something you just got to get rid of? There's been times in my life where I get stuck with really bad addictions. Believe it or not, before I started YouTube, I was addicted to this stupid card game called Yu-Gi-Oh. Some card game I used to play when I was a little kid that I enjoy playing. And the whole reason why I got addicted to it senior year of high school was because I wanted to hang out with my one friend. And that eventually turned into, oh wow. My competitive nature set in. I want to be the best. To be the best, you have to spend a lot of money, get the best cards. Do that, you have to go travel around to different locations. And then a year goes by, and I finally step away from it. And now I'm doing YouTube, and I realize, what did you do with your week? That the, the year of your life, you were playing that stupid card game. And I had to do it with this game. Cause this game all was just a negativity. Everyone kept bringing about it. And I love Call of Duty games, but I cannot play Call of Duty games all the time. I realized this dream I had of MLG. It was not something for me. Maybe it's something for you, but for me, it's not. I found out I'm really good now at making videos. I entertain people. It's something I love to do. So you guys expect that. More videos coming very soon. I have a lot of different series I'm working on. I have 10 or 11 different series on the back burner. Every day I get a brand new idea on my head. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, what is above your head is below its feet.